Donc, your sound is off. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you. I think I turned it off when I was trying to turn it on. <laughs> but I was doing Kundalini yoga and I lost track of time during the meditation phase of it. But it was a really good Kriya. It was like on a self renewal. I'm like, oh, this is a good one today. <laughs> it's yeah, no, I'm like sitting and waiting and waiting. I'm like, hmm. Because I know, I think Megan, uh, she, because she's a teacher, right? So she's been subbing right. in last week and I think this week the same thing as well. So she's been pretty busy. And I mean, I totally get that, right? And um, yeah. I'm like, I know Bethany typically is the first one here. So let me just ask in the group yeah. for the benefit of everyone. So yeah, but otherwise I got to sit here. I got to really rest. My mornings have been mm. go, 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 go. Cause I've taken on a couple of more calls. Um, oh, well, that's exciting. Ooh. Yes. Right. But at the same time, it's like, oh my God, now the clock is ticking for me to prepare to release the workshop because now the workshop the back end is all done uh, remind me later or you can send me a message and i'll tell you something about the portal and and you something to do with the two um and uh, so yeah the the workshop was ready to go really what i need to do is get the landing page ready with putting information on there and I got to do my video and a, and a short description for the welcome page in my portal. So where the workshop and all the courses will be available, then I'm doing the course. So I did a little bit more. I did a whole entire uh, lesson today um, script. Half of it was written, half of it was recorded. So I had to go back to the recording and type it all up and see what's uh, what's in there. Uh, plus setting up my office as you can yeah, see. I was looking behind you I was like "Ooh, look at that just from yesterday yeah and I mean I don't know if you saw my video of you know no I haven't yeah my stories oh my god it was hilarious yeah I stepped out of my porch locked the door turn around and I I see the stairs I, we have like three steps and I see the stairs I'm like they look a little slippery like, how slippery could they possibly be I've never seen them so slippery. I just touch the ice and I'm walking the dog. Poof, wipe out right on my left butt cheek. And I'm like, oh, and I started laughing. I'm laughing. Okay, so the reason why I'm acting like this is because right after we got off our call yesterday, I went to take sugar out and I fell on my left butt cheek too on the ice. My steps were the same way. I'm like, oh, it's fine. All of a sudden, it's a bam. And I was like, oh, how um, odd. <laughs> oh, right? You started it. Thank you. But, and I thought this would be also an interesting topic. Um, yeah growth personal growth because that moment when i found myself laughing hysterically like because i know we i know we have the the recording uh like we have ring system so it records everything in the porch and the people walking by so i knew that so and i know james watches it once in a while so i fell and i'm laughing hysterically and i turned back i'm like i bet you like that <laughs> <laughs> right to him because I knew he would watch it and then as I'm walking I yeah. told him telling him go check it out go check out the last video so he watched it he showed everyone at work <laughs> because, um I how do I put it I'm not scared to put myself out there and if right. I was, what I got to see in that moment when I was laughing hysterically and then I kept walking I'm like you know what two years ago just two years ago, it's not that long ago, I would have been in tears, broken down in tears. Oh my God, all of these things happened to me. Why me? Now my butt hurts. And of course my body would have been hurting more, but now there's like, I don't feel anything. It's like nothing happened except for my headache, which is probably just the, right. the me falling down. But it, it, it just helped me to to see the old version of myself 
you know, I can relate to you completely on that because when I fell yesterday, same thing like you, like I was just saying, I was walking down my stairs. I'm like, oh, they're not that slippery. I fell, but I laughed about it. I was laughing. And in the past, I would have been like, oh my God, ow. Like I would have been the victim and just been so upset about it. Yeah. And yeah, last night, like my, my butt hurts a little bit. My leg hurts. It was rough, like a little bit, you know, moving around, but it did show growth. And I, like you said, I'm really grateful for that. Cause I'm like, wow. Like just thinking about if I would have fallen even last year, it would have been probably like, Oh, poor me Ow. Yeah. Like, and especially with me getting over all this stuff I'm getting over having that happen again. Oh my gosh. It would have been the tip of the iceberg, but I was just laughing and I was just like, man, that felt good to laugh. Like, <laughs> Did. And I mean, I, <laughs> I had a meeting with my coach today and, um, so because we have the video recorded, right. And so I sent the video to, to myself and I shared that with her and that, cause she has, she hasn't seen it. So I could not stop laughing as I was watching it on replay. Cause that was the first time I watched a replay with her. I'm like, Oh my God, this is so funny and she couldn't stop laughing either and then my kids come in here like guys 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 come take a look at this and of course they want to know beforehand what happens who's there who's in the video I'm like just watch and see patience right and I'm like mm, patience yeah. and and the video takes a while to load I'm like oh patience I'm telling them patience and yet I'm getting frustrated with this video taking a long time to load so I caught that as well and I quickly coached myself through it that you know um I know what patience means because I've learned, but kids, they don't know. They don't teach that in school, right? Yeah. So they both watched and we all laughed about it. But the reason why I wanted to bring it up is because two years ago, I never thought it was possible for me to even experience joy. I didn't, like that word joy to me, it, it did not exist in my vocabulary. For me, it was just happiness. But yeah there's a lot, joy is a lot more powerful than happiness because joy cannot be taken away, happiness can be. Um, and I didn't believe it was possible for me to feel happy. I really didn't. Um, I mean, at that point, because I'm trying to think two years back, yeah, I was still struggling with believing that, but I know three years ago, absolutely no way I, I thought it was even possible. Like even the word happiness, I'm like, oh no, no that, that means nothing, right? It doesn't, it doesn't exist. That's a myth type of a thing. And having gone through coaching, um, the love of being, the coach training program, because when I say coaching is because I worked with a coach and I continue to work, right, with my coach, um, two coaches now. And and then what, else, what other programs did I take? There was, um, I can't remember right now, because uh, I don't want to really, my mind is like, don't tell everyone what programs you went through. <laughs> but if you're curious about what programs I went through, I think I have that on my website. Hmm. Yeah, I think I did include all, all the programs that I went through on my website on my own personal description. So about the founder page. Okay. Um, and if not, feel free to reach out to me and I can tell you which programs I took that helped me. But the, the ones that I just mentioned are the ones that stood out the most. Basically working with a person who, as a coach, right and having a coach the coach sees you the coach accepts you the way you are they don't ask you to change they don't like not that they don't care that you don't change but they know you will because it's just the process of life the there was no pushing it was just i felt heard and understood and supported that alone gave me the strength and the power and the motivation and inspiration to keep going and which allowed me to come for full circle, do the 180 that brought me here now doing all these things. And yeah, some uh, this past week and this week has been intense with the kids home, with more things that I've taken on. Um, but, and I know you shared them for you, it was also a little challenging or yeah. quite a bit challenging for us. <laughs> and a lot of people are going through the challenging times. Um, but breathing, breathing through it, going through it, because on the other side, I mean, 
for me on the other side was happiness, joy, success, motivation, um, inspiration, connection. My tribe is growing, um, understanding, awareness, consciousness. I mean, I can go on, but that's what I received on the other side without knowing uh, that all of that even really existed. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. Because like I was saying, like two years ago or even a year ago, like, yeah, I knew what the word joy was, but I was ex like happiness was more something that I was really uh, focusing on. And ever since I like switched over to the thought of joy, it's, you know, everlasting and it's and it's cool to like ha having this rough like week and a half. And it's still a little rough, but I'm healing. I, I do feel way better than 10 days ago, in all honesty. Um, but um, oh, now I lost my train of thought. No, come back. No. <laughs> but anyways, oh, that's what I was about. But I'm still experiencing joy through it all. You know, even though, like, I don't feel like my 100% balanced well-being, I still feel joy and I'm excited for stuff that's happening in me and my family's life. Like, and a lot have, has came from this on the good too. It's teaching me patience, something I want to work on, compassion, you know, more understanding, more gratitude and more love. And it's been helping me strengthen my relationships with my son, my, my man, uh, Brian. And it just has helped me be in the moment more instead of focus like just worrying and like I had like I was getting there to being in the moment but this was really that shift that was like okay you really want to be in the moment well here let me let me show you being in the moment and then it also I really have conquered my binge eating in a way like I haven't had any desire to binge eat not whatsoever um I've honestly I have I have been eating like a more of like a liquid diet just to be more because it's hard to swallow food sometimes. Um, so right now it's more of on a liquid diet, but it's really helped me go to those, go to the next level in my health um, eating goals that I've been wanting. Cause I always am like, okay, moderation, it's fine. You know, I'd still eat some sugar here and there, but it was, and I'd eat a bunch of the the processed foods and I'm like well it's fine I only had moderation of it but I was telling myself I don't want to eat that way and I was battling myself that whole time and so this happened and it was just like well you got to stop battling yourself it's here and you got to deal with it now so it was kind of like a forced hand but I'm grateful for the forced hand because of all the stuff I'm learning throughout it and it's interesting so I wrote this post-it note I don't even remember when I wrote it but I came across it this morning and it brought me tears um, because it's, I was just like, oh my God, it's what I needed to heal, heal, <laughs> here. But it says healing is messy and takes time. Hold space for yourself. Clarity is the best feeling. Yeah. And it almost brings some tears to my eyes now. Cause it's like, I am getting better. It's going to take time and I just got to be patient and deal with my adjustments <laughs> that I have been adjusting on myself, so. I like that one. Maybe we can use that as a title for this for this video. Yeah, definitely. Because I, yeah. healing is messy. Yeah. And that's what we've been experiencing for the, what, a week and a half now. Yeah. Right? Both of us ended up slipping and falling and our butts on top of it. Right. And it takes the impact. I might not feel the effects of it today, but tomorrow I might. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Right now, like I all I have is a headache and it's I can feel it in the like, back of my head. Um yeah. I mean maybe some more coffee will help. <laughs> but the show must go on. <laughs> right. And that's what I'm learning too. Even like in the past, I would have done nothing I would have just sat there been like no I don't feel good I am going to sit here and I'm just going to uh, you know let myself heal 
Mm -hmm. uh, not even healing isn't the word, you know, that I ever used. And it's so empowering to use the word healing because I am healing and it like really lifts me up. But like I've been, you know, doing everything that I usually do in my routine. I've been sticking to my routines and maybe not to the T, but it's still in that same, you know, model. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm losing unwanted anabolic energy that's been that I've been uh holding on to that I didn't realize and thankfully to you and our law of being group coaching that we're doing is really like it's helped a lot and when I first did law of being it helped me a lot so it's cool to see it like right away being there to help me again I'm just like okay synchronicity we're on there I'm on the right path this is this will be okay isn't there like a, a quote on repetition is the it sounds you know, familiar like repetition is the mother teacher or mother load <laughs> yeah it's, really I can't uh, it's like there but you know it's like like right at the tip of your tongue yeah. <laughs> that the more we do something the same thing over and over again we mm -hmm. get it that much more I mean, that's how we we also acquire any skill that we want to have. That's how we acquire and become who we are. This is how we also learn how to walk, going back into the childhood years. This is how we also learn how to run and ride a bike and drive a car. But, I mean, the first time I got in the car, I was really excited because, I mean, I was 19 years old and my mom was excited. <laughs> She knew how I was and it's like, oh, are you driving? No, 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 no. Oh my God, my mom was the same way. Yeah, so I mean, I understand. I understand where my mom is coming from because now I see my kid and I can see which one I'd rather than not drive. I'm not going to point fingers, um, Ethan. Um, <laughs> I could <can> maybe guess. <laughs> so much like me. And that's what also is scary for me as a parent because I know myself. I remember the things that I've done, the things that I've gotten into. Um, some days I still, like, when I go back and revisit my past, I'm like, how did I even, like, survive? The, like, the things that could have happened. But as a child, I didn't know. And at the same time, I didn't care. I was curious. And I wanted to go and explore on my own. Now, using that analogy as a, using your childlike curiosity, what could that do in terms of personal growth, in your opinion? Or your opinion? In my opinion, you are trying new things, you're going after curiosities, nothing's holding you back, you're just going, going, going um to like grow and to learn new things um yeah that's what kind of brings up to me for me to me <laughs> mm -hmm. for me and i'll be honest the word fun and enjoyment comes for me too it just kind of popped up yes. yeah. because i mean child uh, childlike curiosity they they're having fun and they're enjoying the journey they do not really care about the destination they are enjoying the journey. I remember, for example, just a little like very visualization and example, when I was back in Russia and I got my, my bike, the first bike that I got, because they were expensive back then. And this was, sadly, it was about five months before we left Russia. But we got a new bike and it was the coolest bike. It was so awesome. And I remember getting on that bike, not having a destination in mind and just riding it and riding it and riding it and not having a goal, but enjoying the process. And wherever I ended up intuitively was exactly where I needed to be. I've explored so many different places and spaces and I found an underground uh, underground kind of like cave that was covered by sand and it was so much fun like going in there um, and um, the other thing that comes to mind in terms of childlike curiosity and what happens when when we connect the childlike curiosity and personal growth yeah that is how we are able to uncover what our passions are 
and, and see how those passions can help us to build and create the life that we deeply desire to live. I highly, highly, highly doubt that people really want to go into work nine to five, doing a job that they don't enjoy, building somebody else's dream and doing repetitive work over and over again that is seemingly pointless. Mm -hmm. But those people that have uncovered their passion and found a way of how their passion can uh, allow them and help them to build their dream life, those are the people that are really happy living their life and experiencing happiness and joy. Yes, of course, um, the struggles are still going to be there. It's not always sun, sunshine and rainbows, like some people tell me. I'm like, Yana, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. I'm like, oh, MG. I right. can never, ever say that. I always say there's there's always pain and suffering and no matter what it is that you're doing even if you're following your dreams there is going to be some pain and suffering it's not going to be such rainbows all the time it's just how it is you're enjoying your life you're having an awesome life you're loving what you're doing and then one week you're just like lost and nothing happens in here it's a really Nine. But it's a shit storm in here because all the shit is swirling around and it's just like a shit show in there and it smells <laughs> a little too vivid. My mind is like going there. Um, but then you get to learn something in that process. As long as you do bring in the childlike curiosity and at the same time, a little bit of the knowledge and wisdom and an adulthood into that, we all have our own little systems that help us to understand what we're going through um i know i mean not all of us but most of us have that or some of us however right. but we all here's the thing i'm gonna correct kind of rewind back we all have a system that will help us to work through whatever that we are working through but not all of us are aware of it that's the point i was trying to get to because bringing awareness into it, because if we're not aware, it's, it's there. Yeah. It's there. We collected over the years. We have a script of what's going to help us work through anything that is put in front of us. Otherwise, it would not be in front of us. It's as simple as that. And now it's time to really uncover what that process is, become aware of it, and then actually use it and take action. Because if we're yeah. just aware of it, it doesn't necessarily do anything if the second most important step of action is not taking place. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree, agree completely. Definitely. Um, yeah. Uh, that's like, that's exactly how last week, you know, this has been like, and I could have sat there and been like, Ooh, poor me, you know, been a hot mess, not done our calls. I know I missed one, but you know, I, I did scold myself. Cause I'm like, you know, like you could have made that call, but at the same time I was listening to my intuition and my intuition was saying rest. And I ended up sleeping that day, like 12 hours straight. And it's what I really needed. So it is like, you know, listening to your body and trusting yourself, knowing that you have the tools already like and sometimes you got to find them you got to learn what they are and i'm learning that breath work <laughs> amazing like i am so grateful kundalini yoga has a bunch of breath work in it and a lot of movements and it's just like been it's really been uplifting for this week because i'm i'm like on day 36 of that 40-day challenge that i was doing and today was self-renewal like i said in the beginning of the video and it just it just brought so much clarity and like, like a good feeling. Like I still feel, you know, I could feel better. I definitely could be feeling better, but I know I'm going to every day. I'm feeling better. I re and it's, it's helping me push myself to keep doing my routines and, you know, going to take the shower every day instead of being like, well, I don't feel good. So I'm not going to take a shower. And it's like, from and, and that's, I used to be that way. Like, 
two years ago, man, if I didn't feel good, that is not an option. I'm going to sit here, lay here and just mope. Yeah. But I didn't, I didn't, and I had moments of moping. I did, but I was able to see through it and I'd be like, okay, I'm ready to get out of here. I started, I fought for it. And I, you know, I went up in the energy levels because I was just tired of feeling that way. I'm like, <sighs> like, <"Ugh." laughs> you know? <laughs> no, I totally hear you. And thank you for bringing up um, breath work. This is something that um, I have uncovered for myself, I've noticed that one of the things that were one of the biggest contributors to my anxiety, and it still is to this day, um, is forgetting to breathe. Yeah. And, oh. and honestly, like I do forget to breathe sometimes because it's almost like brace for impact. Out of nowhere, I'll just like find myself not breathing, but because now I'm very aware of my my breath. Um, I remind myself to breathe. So sometimes we'll be sitting and watching a movie or, or just sitting with family. And all of a sudden I go, and everybody's like, what's wrong? I'm like, nothing is wrong, guys. And this has been happening for, for a while now, for a couple of months, because I used to just do take the breath in silently so nobody knows, nobody notices. But I thought, that's that's hiding it. Why would I be hiding it where... I'm not really taking the breath that I want to be taking. Yeah. Right. Actually right. Deep breaths. Um, typically, it's just one breath that I need, sometimes uh, sometimes two or three, depending on this how I'm feeling. But I would take a breath, and, and when my husband or my kids ask what's wrong, nothing is wrong. I just forgot to breathe. What do you mean you forgot to breathe? Because sometimes I forget to breathe. Right, because the body has—I don't want to say it has a mind of its own, but in the way it has a mind of its own, and if we don't connect the mind and the body and and, and understand what it's telling us, then no wonder some of us can end up with with anxiety and panic attacks. Because then I started. This is like how I started the deep breaths, because I noticed that I would hold my breath just for no reason whether I'm walking or sitting and just like hold my breath or the other thing I would do is I would do like short shallow breaths and anybody wants to try you can do like <laughs> breathe like that for a little while you're gonna feel anxiety and you'll know exactly what that feels like so or I find myself taking shallow breaths which basically does not really even feed the system and and then I learned the power of breath which is really taking a deep breath in. And if I feel like holding it, I hold it. Mm -hmm. And if I feel like not holding it, again, intuitively, right? This is just listen to yourself, listen to your intuition, taking deep breaths, holding it or not holding it. There's so many different breath works uh, out there with whether counting or how many breaths you take or how fast you take them or how deep you take them and whether you expand your chest or expand your, your belly and then your chest or just expand your belly. There's so many different things out there. So anybody that is finding themselves um, looking into you, breath work really just do your own research and see what works for you try it out try it out at least i say at least five times before you knock it down mm -hmm. i agree because man i definitely yeah breath works changed everything because i noticed while i was like sometimes when i'm like oh i'm having trouble breathing i'm like well i'm all tensed up here and i'm not breathing so <laughs> of course you're having trouble breathing <laughs> And yeah. then also, yeah, and then on top of it, uh, I forgot to mention was affirmations, doing the breath work with some like affirmations, just even being like, I'm safe, I'm loved, I'm enough, you know, I'm important, even just saying that stuff, just really, it, it helps focus for myself onto, you know, the really um, the growth and the positivity out of it. One that I've been saying a lot, I do have to say, is uh, my grateful heart is a magnet that attracts everything that I desire. Mm -hmm. um, and life is a gift. Be in the moment. Yeah. Uh, go with the flow. I, that's a few, but you know. <laughs> yeah. But those are ones that like, 
whenever I feel like, especially with how this week's been and I start saying those to my mind and I start doing breath work, it's just it's like this sense of just like, ugh, like relief, just like, okay, we're good. We got this, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. <laughs> I love that as well. The affirmations, mantras, affirmations, people call them different things. Uh, and what I would add to that um, uh, in terms of what I do um and again these are just options varieties right sometimes what i'll do is i will visualize or just feel uh, as i'm breathing in light goes in bright white light comes in and then when i'm breathing out dark uh, whether it's black or brown or gray comes out so cleansing the system that way um another thing i would do and again depending on how i'm feeling Uh, Another thing I would do is when I breathe in, I will repeat in my mind uh, something that I want to create, something that I want to feel and experience. So, for example, uh, joy. I mean, I have joy, but there's always more joy that we can feel, right? We can always increase that. So what I would do is I would breathe in and, and say, I am feeling joy or I am experiencing joy or I am joy, something along the lines with joy. And in the beginning, when I started, I couldn't say that I am joy because that would be a lie. Um, So I would say I could start to feel joy or I want to start to feel joy because that's what I want. So I would breathe that in. And as I breathe out, I breathe out what I don't want. And I would say, I let go of sadness i let go of sorrow i let go of the darkness uh, or i you know anything that really comes to mind any kind of word that i'm feeling in that time in the moment and sometimes just repetition of the same word that i'm releasing new things that i'm asking to come in and release the same thing and it can be separate in terms of like seeing the light and breathing in the light with the words um, or just the light or just the words, right? Breathing in what you want and exhaling what you don't want. That's really essentially what it is, whether it's, I want bright light in me and I want to let go of all the darkness. Yeah, I like that a lot. I feel like I might practice that, honestly. And it really, it helps to yeah. focus the mind on one specific thing instead of the mind the the monkey mind right the the one that goes everywhere and jumps on all these different thoughts sometimes it's just counting the breath like breathe in breathe out or counting how many seconds of breathing depending on the breath work right because there's another breath work that is really good for um some people say it's really good for manifesting when you breathe in for four seconds hold for four seconds and breathe out for eight seconds okay yeah yeah Right? I can't remember what that breath work is called, but there it's a, there's a certain name. Exactly. Right? There's, there's like, there's names yeah. and then breathe in for four seconds, hold for four and then release for four or breathe in for four, uh, breathe out for four. So there's so many different breath works. And if I'm doing that, I'm just counting. So it helps my mind to focus. That's really what meditation is about or centering is about um, checking in with yourself and focusing on one specific thing so the mind doesn't go on the billion other things that we have on our pending list yeah yeah and there was this thing that i was i i believe it was in the energy leadership book and it was just saying you know don't worry about things that are gonna i'm paraphrasing don't worry about things that are going to happen just be and let them have you know worry about them or, or not worry but you know deal with them as they come up and that just was like huh all right yeah okay i like cool. that that reminds me of a movie that i watched so we can learn a lot of things from a movie as well if we listen yeah. so this one was called um i don't know if you've seen it. it's like an older movie uh but i watched it so many times um scarlet from the movie called gun with the wind when she was going through a lot of like a lot of difficult things in life and she would always say i'm not gonna worry about it today i'm gonna worry about it tomorrow 
and she would like she basically she would find herself crying and being upset and sad because she would lose things right um not like not like things in the house but right, right, right. people she cares about right um and she would say i'm not gonna worry about it today i'm gonna worry about it tomorrow it just gives that release that okay i'm gonna worry about it but just not right now i'm gonna put that off i'm gonna procrastinate on worrying about this and i'll do it later and just repeating that kind of phrase as well um has been very helpful especially for me when i am in in the midst of building my business with all the things that i'm doing and i've added more to my plate and i'm not complaining because this right. is something that i've been wanting to do but i'm allowing myself the giving myself the grace the time to adjust to yeah. this new new flow new things in my life all of these things right um and i know eventually i will adjust because this is the things that i've wanted and i've been wanting them for so long and it's like well if i keep wanting them and i never do anything about it they're not going to happen on their own so i gotta start putting them in if it's not scheduled it's not going to happen and when i'm worrying about these things because on my list there's a lot to do and i gotta prioritize what's the most important thing to do right now or today okay the rest of it i'm not gonna worry about it today i will worry about it tomorrow right and if tomorrow i forget about it that means i didn't need it yeah 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 i agree and adjustments huge you got to hold space for yourself to adjust like in that in my quote like healing is messy and it takes time hold space for yourself and that's something i do keep telling myself too is you know adjustment patience adjustment patience like those are like <laughs> and it's it it helps it really does it's crazy how powerful your mind is but it's not crazy at the same time but it is you know <laughs> oh yeah honestly i the other day i did a little um i did a little experiment so i watched this show i think life after death or living after death or something like that uh, on netflix i think i told you about it yeah yeah so there was one part in there where um uh, uh they were talking about a physical medium so a physical medium is who is able to basically secrete some kind of a, a liquid from her own body and that liquid then kind of takes form and takes shape and it has to be all done in the dark and some people are able to see so anyways long story short one one guy in there his father came through and he was able to like he felt his father there so i thought i mean i believe in that one like 100 percent, i believe in that being possible but i also believe that the power of the mind is incredibly strong and powerful um and that if we just sit there and think and focus and we get into a certain kind of like a zone and we because i know i've done that before uh, and we uh, just visualize and picture somebody standing in front of us and over us right we will actually feel that person standing there physically. Mm -hmm. I did that type of like a, a meditation, um, what's today, Wednesday? On Monday, where I sat on my couch and I really just visualized my cat sitting on me. Hmm. And I felt the heaviness of my cat sitting on me and he was sleeping upstairs interesting right so and that is kind of like my, my my head is hurting right now oh, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> and uh and that's kind of like the mind the power of the mind uh that of what we're able to create so if i'm able to create a physical sensation of a pet that has been sitting on me using my memory using my mind what else can i do what else can i create that's true yeah scary sometimes yeah because you could either create cannabolic things or you can create anabolic things like you know and if you don't like train your mind i feel like 
the body is prone to go towards the and the cannabolic side yeah breaking down instead of lifting up so you have to like retrain yourself to lift yourself up well, I mean, it's absolutely normal to be living and experiencing and feeling the world that way because that's how the world is. The world is living in catabolic energy, which is level one, level two, where the ego is very strong, um, where narcissism exists, right? whether it's towards somebody else, towards ourselves. It's basically punishment that's what punishment is living the guilt and shame embarrassment anger frustration and i have to win or i never win right kind of a mind uh, mind battle that we have that's the world we're living in uh, most of us were raised that way obviously unconsciously because our parents didn't know what we know and um i I'm not going to know what my kids will know and they won't know what their kids will know because every generation just expands and gets bigger and smarter in a way. And to me, it's raising their consciousness and awareness. And I'm seeing this happen, but anyone that is experiencing level one, level two, or feeling like a victim and, or punishing yourself or feeling angry and frustrated, which is level two, whether it's towards yourself or internal or external towards somebody else or blaming somebody else. Just remember that that's not you. Yeah. That's not you. That's everyone else along your journey that has helped you to create those messages and all the shoulds you hear they're not your shoulds because you yourself you are a perfect person you're a perfect being you were um all of us heard that we, we are we're all created in the image of god and god is perfect so why do we go punishing ourselves saying that we're not perfect when really we are and all those voices, they're not yours. Don't own them. Right? What I'm saying is, it's okay to be where you are. There's something in there for you. And that's why you might be experiencing these things for now. But it does get better. Yeah. I just had this crazy, like, uh, aha moment. Um, I had to hold back some tears. Um, I believe the feeling I've been feeling is the death of the old me and I'm letting in the new me now. And it's like scary because it's like, you know, it's, it, I feel like that, like, ah, like I'm dying, but it's the old me dying. The one that I don't want anymore. The one that's holding me back. And I just had that realization right now when you were talking and I'm just like, Oh shit. Like, Oh wow. You know, like that aha, like now, yeah, I'm making room for the best version of myself that I want to be. Yes, and loss hurts. Yeah, yes. My body's like, no, it's like holding on. It's like, what do you mean? Like, we're dying here. <laughs> but it's yeah. okay because it's going to open up the doors to so much and like make room for so much more that I have no idea what's going to come my way yet. That, thank you for sharing that. And the question came to mind is who else that's listening or watching wherever you're, you're listening to us from, who else might have, might be experiencing something like that, right? Because when we shed the old self, when our old self dies and we step into the new, there is a lot of new and new things are, are scary to us Old, older, older people, because kids love new things. They're excited, right. they love yeah. curiosity. Okay, but us, because we are so wise and so aware, and we have so much knowledge about what could happen when we step outside, or when our kids go to school. There's so much there um, that when we are facing anything new, we can't experience fear and sadness and sorrow especially when we are stepping into the new version of ourselves because you have just left 
your nest, where you were comfortable. And now you're here by yourself, make it. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yes. So thank you for sharing your aha yeah. moment. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's just like when you're talking, it because I was thinking the death of the ego, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh shit, no, I'm experiencing the death of the old me. And I've like, I don't, I mean, yeah, I don't, I've never experienced this. Um, and so it's very new and it was scary. But now that I have this new sense, it's like, more reassuring like okay now i just gotta calm <laughs> the inside the gretchen and ophelia and and i you know me um even though all of that's me but you know all the parts i have to sit down and be like hey it's okay we're this is what we wanted you know remember your new jobs love gratitude compassion understanding forgiveness um bravery and courage that's that's been a big one yeah and those things we don't just wake up and have those things just because we really 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 want them yeah the things that slowly come to us through action yeah and i was fighting this for so long to like i mean i'm sure you you've sensed that i'm sure because uh, i always go back and forth on stuff and now it's just like no like 10 days I've been living the person that I want to be. Yes, I have like these uncomfortable feelings. And now that I realize, oh, wow, that was the death. That's the death of the old me. Yeah. It makes the adjustment that much easier. I feel like that that feeling in my chest isn't as strong because I know, hey, it's going to be OK. We got this. <laughs> we got this. I have my tools. You do. You have all the tools that you need, right? And I know you will continue to uncover more tools. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I I did know. I did sense that that was just you're stepping into your new version. But that's the thing. Like, I can help you to see and share my experiences and stuff like that and help you to see what could be happening. But all the things that you have been becoming aware of, this little bite here, little bite here, little bite there. Those are the, now those are the things that are part of your new self. So you've become you've been becoming aware of the little parts, mm -hmm. but now you become aware of what kind of what's really happening. What's the uh, catalyst? For yeah, the root cause. Yeah, like you're saying, what's the root cause? I remember, and I was just like. I don't know, <laughs> but now it's just like, wow, okay, I, I understand the root cause, and the old me, Gretchen especially, I think that's the one that's been making and having this feeling, because I've had death of the ego before, I felt that, and it's very similar, but this is a new one, because I'm opening the door. For anyone listening, I hope this encourages and inspires you to push through and look to the other side, look at the light at the end of the tunnel, as they say, because there is that light. It might be small, it might be tiny, there might seem like very little, but it's there and it will expand yeah. as you expand. Yeah, and as you continue to expand, one thing you will also realize when you get to a certain level of expansion is that the light is everywhere and the tunnel itself is actually an illusion. Yeah, that's wow. true. If somebody said that to me back in the day, even though it's not really that back in the day, somebody said that to me a while back, I would have just called them crazy. I mean, no, I wouldn't have. I'd be like, oh my God, <laughs> planet, I don't understand this language. Right. And I don't get it, right? Uh, but it, it's a journey itself. So mm -hmm. again, back to the bike, right? So if I was biking and my and I was looking towards my destination of understanding that the tunnel is an illusion. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't really enjoy the bike ride. Yeah. Right. right. So instead of looking, yes, I mean, it's great to know, I knew I was going to end up somewhere, somewhere awesome, somewhere green outside. And that was kind of like the goal to end up somewhere wherever my feet pedaled me to until I get tired. Um, and it was always longer and longer and longer. Right. 
so in kind of the same concept with with this intuitively take action on whatever comes into your into your field into your into your space into your mind um in the beginning it could be just getting out of bed waking up to the alarm uh, brushing teeth going to the bathroom turning lights on when you go to the bathroom it could be going to a different bath bathroom if you have i started going downstairs to the bathroom it could be listening to something it could be just stretching it could be turning over and hugging your partner, right? It could be really anything in the beginning because beginning is one of the, the hardest thing is to start. Yeah. That, that I'm sure all of us already know by now because uh, this is just spoken to everywhere you, you look. The hardest thing is to start, but once you start, keep going. Yeah. Don't stop. Don't pause. Don't take breaks because you might find yourself back in a cycle of starting over and over and over again. Yes, yes, that's exactly where I was. Yeah. And now that it's not, my body's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, because I could have totally went back in that cycle and been like, no, I don't like this feeling. Okay, I'm going to, you know, I want to, uh, you know, <laughs> but I chose to see the other side and I chose to continue on with my daily tasks that I do, like everything that needs to get done in the household, you know, with Uriah, with Brian, I've been, you know, we're trying to, I don't know, just all the new things we're doing. Like I haven't, and in the past, like we talked about growth, you know, this, this would have been um, a very hard time, a very, very hard time to where, like I said earlier, I probably would have had a hard time getting out of bed or getting dressed, brushing my teeth, um, putting makeup on even, um, I, my nails would be bitten. And, you know, honestly, I haven't bitten my nails since this started. And that's one goal that I wanted to work on. And I keep going back on, you know, like, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to stop. And then I start up again, because something happens. And then I'm like, oh, well, it's my nervous, you know, it's my tick. But this time I didn't let it. And so, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This definitely huge growth. Uh, this is showing me too. Mm -hmm. Going back to the original discussion on growth. Yeah, I I remember when we were talking about a year ago, and that's yeah. something you wanted to you wanted to stop, and you would stop for a while, and then go back to because something would happen, and you you said to yourself that you know what. I'm just not going to focus on it right now because it's going to happen on its own. I'm not going to force it. <laughs> and you did just that. And now you are exactly where you want it to be. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So well, as we're getting close to our, yeah. the top of the hour, I wanted to ask everyone, as I always like asking, what is the one thing that, stood out to you the most throughout this whole entire video that you can walk away and perhaps maybe even take action on, mm -hmm. right? Um, because at the end of the day, knowing something and learning something new doesn't always mean that you're learning it unless you're taking action, right? The, my favorite quote is life is not um, an information process, it is an application process. So apply what you learn. Yeah. So what did you learn? And how will you apply that going forward? That's it. For me, if I, I want to answer that question, yeah, you know, yeah. how I like answering your questions. <laughs> but for me, it's what really stood out was that death of the old me. That was like the thing that really like, yeah, I have a hard time articulating the words right now because it's just so like, uh, like I'm just in awe of it. Like, holy crap, if I would have realized this like a couple days ago. Hmm. But you know, it's about the journey and what I learned yeah. through the journey. Um, and I, how I'm going to um, continue on, I guess, or use this in my daily life is I'm just going to push past the limits. I'm going to, it's hard, but it's worth it. And I'm just going to continue being the best version of myself every day that I can be. Mm -hmm. And with a little more rest, because I have realized I need, I, I, I tend to go, 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 go. 
and there it's okay to rest and that's what this has also taught me it's okay to rest so yes yeah, i learned and that was actually what i learned as well that even though i have all these things in the go that it is okay to rest i i mean i really learned that a long time ago but repeating these things and and remembering these lessons because sometimes we forget um that taking a break is okay yeah. that even if i do just a little bit that towards the direction that i am going into then that's more than enough that i too am a human being and that i too am allowed to take a rest so the action i will take is actually take a rest when my 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 system tells me to slow the f down breathe so yes i agree completely yes yeah, yeah. just breathe <laughs> Yeah, and if I feel like doing something else, because sometimes the uh, the mind is like, no, 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 I don't want to sit, I don't want to sit, I want to do something. I can do something else fun. I call it procrastinating with purpose. Yeah. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> right, I know, we'll just keep going on and on. <laughs> yeah. so we have the gift of the gap, as or gab, as they say. Gab. Did I say it? Gab. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And this could be one of the next topics or one of the topics later on that we'll talk about procrastinating. Yeah. Purpose. There is a lot to it, but essentially, I don't want to leave the cliffhangers. I feel bad. <laughs> right, right. It just means that instead of doing what you really want to be doing, you can do something else that is important to you as well. Something a lot less intensive on your on your list, on your doing list, on your, on your to-do list, whatever you call that list. So that's really what that means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So. I found this to be very healing. As you saw, you know, or you heard, you know, that whole realization, it's a, that it's healed the unicorn. I'm so grateful for this this uh time we had together i was a little bit late but hey i made it <laughs> i just got i lost I track of time with my meditation right exactly time is an illusion <laughs> we yeah it's a really if you wanted to understand what time is an illusion means go watch any toddler they are very good at expressing that they don't understand the concept of time. And if we did not teach them that, if we didn't give them that human condition and understanding what the time really is, um, or what it actually isn't, <laughs> they would be living a different kind of a life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. We're the ones that taught them. We got taught yeah. by, by everything and everyone around us because everything yeah. revolves around time, but really that's not how the world operates there is no time exactly yeah i agree all righty oh. <laughs> no i was just saying it's like it's man-made just like the furniture that we're sitting on right um so thank you thank you thank you for this awesome call hopefully all the viewers or listeners and listeners because you're viewing and listening or just listening um have something to share with us in terms of like put that down below in the comments or send us a message and we can have a conversation but now i gotta go and deal with the kids who i don't think they are in class ah. yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, but I got the little one to take care of. He's he's being patient, so I'm like, hey, well, when we're done here, we're gonna play and just, uh -huh. yeah, just relax with each other. And that's something too I've been focusing on. I realize that I don't put enough focus into my family, and I want to focus more on my family. So yeah. that's what I've been doing. Fun and play. Yeah, exactly. All righty. Well, awesome. until next time, I will see you then. <laughs> And thank you everybody for listening and watching until next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>